How gratifying was it to see the response the day, uh, like the day that of the season premiere and the day following? Just the community, the fan community embracing it. It was. It was. It, it's that's incredibly satisfying. That's uh, really rewarding and replenishing. Um, the coolest moment in all of it, because I woke up on Thursday morning with a call from Peter Roth, who's the president of Warner Brothers TV. Steven, I'm so excited. This is great. Love you. I gotta go. <laughs> and uh, that was actually that's how the call went. And uh, so that was really exciting. But the the press release for the Canadian ratings came out on Thursday evening. We got 1.1 million viewers in Canada, and it was the biggest on the network that we're on CTV2. It was the biggest premiere in their history, and uh, that came out. And then I, I got to tell the crew that just before we shot a scene, and they're all almost all Canadian. So um, it's been really rewarding. It's it's nice for the show to come out. It's nice to have the response. Everybody's working really hard. So that positive feedback is. Like, it's just sort of what the doctor ordered at the beginning. And positive is better than negative. I wouldn't want, if everyone hated the pilot, then we had to come to New York Comic Con and be like... Mm. <laughs> and that would have been acting. Yeah, that would have been acting. On the upcoming episodes, uh, do you have a favorite villain? Uh, we know China writes uh, Return next week, uh, and then uh, Deadshot in a few, uh, I think a few more weeks. Favorite villain so far has been... Uh, Two favorite villains. One villain that I just can't talk about at all, and I really wish that I could. Say. Everyone turn off your recorders right now. Uh, that I can. Uh, Anybody? Deathstroke. Deathstroke's menacing, and he's on his way. Well, going into the past of the character, I mean, Green Arrow is one that hasn't been exploited terribly, terribly much by DC. And I wonder, in your research, when you got the call, this is you, this is who you're going to play, how much did you, if you did, go into his history and all of that? I hadn't read any Green Arrow comic books. I hadn't seen Smallville. I hadn't seen any iteration of the Green Arrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, all I had done when I auditioned for the show was read the pilot. Mm -hmm. And the pilot had everything there mm -hmm. for me. And then after the pilot, I read year one. I read all of Mike Grell's uh, Green Arrow stuff. And Mike Grell, I mean, Mike Grell at Comic Con, he's and he's doing some of the work for our digital comics. He, it's, I mean, it's super awesome to have Mike Grell draw you. And uh, so I've I've become very familiar. Although I got stumped on live TV the other day. They asked me who taught Green Arrow archery in the comic books. <laughs> It's super, super boy. I didn't know that. Now you do, and you'll <laughs> never forget I'll it. Never, and I'm sure you won't either. No, I won't. It's show happened. You talk daily. Oh yeah. my! It was live. It's no oh. big deal. I think before they're doing the preview, they're like, "We're gonna ask you some slam dunk superhero questions. <laughs> Don't worry about it." Like. How did Spider-Man get his powers? What's Superman's weakness? No problem, no problem. How did Green Arrow learn archery? Who taught him? I don't know. Might, well, now that you know that, might we see it? In a flashback uh, somehow, somewhere? We are going to see how he learns archery, but Superboy does not teach him. Artistic license. <laughs> what has surprised you most about playing uh, Oliver Queen? Last question. Uh, it's, um... I'm really, nothing has really surprised me, but I am really enjoying what we're doing right now with flashbacks on the island. The, the idea that this character is deconstructed and whittled down to almost nothing before he rises back up again, that's an interesting story. And that helps people, because as we've seen, he's fairly unflinching. And he snaps a dude's neck in the pilot, and if you don't know what he's gone through, that would be difficult to relate to, but we see what he goes through, and that helps you engage with him.